Hey, how are we doing today? Ray has just dropped her debut album. It's called My 21st Century Blues. Now the track Escapism with her and 070 Shake is fantastic. Is the album going to live up to that track? We're about to find out. You know how we do it track by track, reacting, discussing, breaking it down. The whole video is uncut on the Patreon link down in the description. Come and join the realest ones and get your uncut reactions. Let's do it. My 21st Century Blues, Ray. 21st Century Blues Club. Got a very special guest for you tonight. Come Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna tell you about one of the many men. Name is irrelevant. Truly invulnerable. I love a sentiment. Quickly I opened up. I learned my lesson then. Thought I was safe again. Thought he was innocent. It was convincing though. Very believable. The role that you play. So I'll take this front. voice is superb i kind of like the fuck you energy that she's delivering here i don't know if it's going to be a whole fuck you album to this one guy or various chaps uh, <laughs> over the over the course of the album i enjoy the production i enjoy her style man let's keep it going oh what a tragedy it didn't have to be look how you talk to me <laughs> cursing and blasphemy cinematography get this on camera please oh no i'm gonna believe this is i can't deny i thought you were the man but you were the plan For the last time I'm your audience, I'll take this front row seat. Yeah! Baby, 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 would you really go ahead and would you go ahead and just saw him again okay so maybe it's just about that one guy for that one track uh, i really like what they did with the production on her voice it wasn't too many effects going on obviously I had the harmonizing at the end but at points it sounded just incredibly intimate very 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 clear and crisp with her voice is almost if she's talking either directly to us or directly to this guy in terms of the melody didn't blow my mind but i thought that was a, a strong opener um hard out here let's go all i ask of you is open your ears because the truth ain't pretty my dear Chili Peppers interpolation. What you know about hustling as a young girl in the dungeons? What you know about making amends with the devils in your face? You must pretend. CEO, I'm from the ends, but I'm an actor. Imagine to sound like very current in London. Um, but some like classic recent British neo soul, I guess. Uh, what I mean by that is like she has a similar tone when she goes all out with her voice to an Amy Winehouse or even a Corin Bailey Ray. You remember from a while ago that girl put your records on song, nice song. Yeah, she has like the kind of rap style as well. There's a lot going on here. It's almost a yay ass production. Ooh, what you know about systems, about drug drinks, fucking nearly dying from addiction. Mm, to wonder Jesus. why I'm Christian without the Lord. I've been a victim. Maybe I bounce back. White men see yours. Fuck your privilege. Get your pink chubby hands off my mouth. Fuck you think this is. I told my lawyer, stand by. There is no wrath like a woman scorned. Huh? Now I bet you wish. Baby, I bounce, baby, I bounce, baby, I bounce back. And top of the day, top of the day, top of the day to you. Yes, LPs, put it a shit. I'm gonna say to you. Fire! Fire! Can't see you, I'm looking at the inside of my eyelids. There's so much going on in this tune. This beat sounding like a 
fucking 2000s R&B tune all of a sudden. Yeah, there was a lot crammed into that song. Fire. Fire. Okay. Some of these songs already have quite a lot of streams, so maybe you guys have heard them before. This one here, Black Mascara. Obviously, Escapism has a lot of streams. I like some of these self harmonies she uses as well. Reminds me of like an Imogen Heap, not quite as extreme as she used to use them. Lots of styles kind of mashed in together, but sounding pretty unique as well. And she has that confidence and character that kind of pierces through anyway, that makes it very much her own. I'm very impressed so far by this record. And I know the track after this is fire as well. So let's keep it going. Okay, a little bit of a... Loki and house beat on this one. It's quite operatic as well, almost like emo y. Is this like fuck you emo house? I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm now really liking the front cover of the album. How old am I? Front cover. Uh, <laughs> she's on top of all of these instruments. So, I mean, you can interpret it in many ways. She's like trashing on them in these red heels. So it's always like all of the instruments that she's used to detail the pain of her past, maybe. But also how many instruments are being used in these songs and how many interesting ways. I don't know if she's a multi-instrumentalist. I just know her as a singer. I don't know too much about her. So that might be something I can dive into in a bit. But yeah, the album cover's working for sure. <laughs> Guys out here being pricks. Mm, this is fucking fire as well, and so different to the other tracks. By the way, if you've not yet, I would highly recommend watching the Fred Again Actual Life 3 reaction on this channel. Um, it's picking up views over time. I think it'll end up being a big video, but I absolutely love that. Spoiler, I absolutely love that record. And I'm seeing more of this style of music becoming a big thing. He says, insightfully, after Drake and Beyonce released House Albums, yes, well done, John, the insight you've just shown there. But it's still true. I think we're going to be hearing a lot more of this style of music in the next two years and interesting takes on it. Dripped on the photo six on the photo series. Tell them hoes to be man in their bin. It's heartbroken, but I'm still looking like millions. Six shots down, so I can't feel this. Talking my ear off, cocaine. I'm out here sinking in these dark nights. Nights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feels weird to dance because she's obviously in a, not in a great way, but. Alright, yeah, this is very good so far. Like, last two tracks have been magic. And I did enjoy the first proper track as well. And now we know this one's good. We know it's good. UK number one, massive hit. 185 million streams here on Spotify compared to what, five and eight of the last two. Obviously, heard this a few times on the radio. Not loads. Chord. Chord pattern. Similar to Love Lockdown, that chord, that chord pattern. And then it grows with the synths. Yeah, this is fucking flame. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's not, I mean, it is kind of rap, but it's not rap. But when she goes into this 
flow, let's say. She does it with excellence in her execution. Sometimes if a singer starts trying to rap, it can come off. We know that. It can come off very, very, very cringe. But no, the opposite here. She sounds as comfortable in that lane as she does when she's singing. The way this song builds is masterful, to be honest. Mm. I love the honesty and kind of raw reality of this song. When she's speaking defiantly on this record, she like punches through with her vocals and the diction. Do you know what I mean? Like drunk, like every D in the drunk in that previous part has that kind of impact, it's like it's almost punching through the speakers. But when she's showing her vulnerability, like in this section here, the voice softens, it becomes more fragile almost. It's, it's stuff like that, performance in the booth, performance on the microphone is typically underrated and not spoken about, especially outside of hip hop. But she marries those elements fantastically. There's House of Balloons elements to this track as well. Especially here. Mm. Lipstick smudge like Montanar. I don't know where the fuck I am or who's driving the fucking car. Secrets to the stranger in my bed. Uh -huh. I remember nothing, so there's nothing to regret. Uh -huh. Other than this 4 4 kick drum pounding in my head. Mm. Fucking doesn't get much better than that. It does not get much better than that. What a track. Mary Jane. Sweet, sweet Mary Jane. Yeah, so we've got some more classic blues on this. You know when you get the impression that you're listening to something pretty special and something that's going to be spoken about for a long, long, long time? Long way to go in this record. Not even halfway through. But my goodness. I was expecting it to be good because of that escapism track, but the variety and the intensity, I think that has to be a surprise to almost anybody. I guess apart from Ray herself. And you know I'm a sucker for me love, so pure, so strong, then left me in bed so alone. Let's fucking go. Sounding like classic black keys as well. Card games and heart games. I said, let's play. I should know better. Painkillers and codeine. I got stomach cramps under my sweater. Dark words from his dark mind. That is dark stains under my eyes. I'm scared when I look at him and I don't know why I'm surprised. Say something nice to me. 
I'm talking Ray and Little Sims is the most exciting artist in Britain right now. Always Dave, because always Dave, but this is crazy. You know, I'm just like, I'm listening to it. It's just like, I'm looking around, it's like, is everyone else hearing this? This album's crazy. Ice Cream Man, I'm assuming it's not a cover of the Scooter classic. So this producer hit me up on the DM. He told me, hey, I really like what you are doing. He told me, come on to the studio, let's cook it. He told me, but when I got that, should have heard what he was saying. Trying to touch me, trying to fuck me, I'm not playing. I should have left that place as soon as I walked in it. How goddamn dare you do that to me, really? Jesus. Coming like an ice cream man Till I felt his ice cold hand Left me in a ruin And no, I didn't say a word I guess that proves it I'm a woman Oh, yes How I walk, how I talk, how I do it Man, I've been broken for a moment I've been through it It's even harder to be brave alone Seven was 21, was 17, and was 11 It took a while to understand what my consent means If I was ruthless, they'd be in the penitentiary But all the stress of being honest wouldn't help me God damn, everything you did, it left me in a ruin And no, I didn't say a word, I guess that proves it How I walk, how I talk, how I do it Man, I've been broken for a moment, I've been doing it It's even harder to be brave alone was a girl, now I'm grown, I'm a woman Stain on my skin, you made me frame myself for your sin You pathetic, dead excuse of a man Jesus, tell him Okay, we're on to the next song. Sorry, that um, that hit like a sledgehammer. Fucking hell. The whole album's been raw and honest, but that was another level. Um, a horrifying story at one point. I think she said about age 7, 21, 17, and 11 about consent. So I don't know exactly what that means. But also the situation with the producer is horrendous and all too common. Like, especially in the past, I guess, 10 years, again... Stories like this are very much in the news right now with a certain footballer. And the way that Ray explains the sort of reasoning, I guess, behind her silence, I think it's really important to listen to because life and emotions and situations like that are incredibly nuanced and difficult. Yeah, that was another phenomenal track, different energy, of course, um, probably triggering for people to, to listen to as well. Um, but I think an important track. Man, she's been through it. She's been through it, okay. I'ma stay doing what us bitches do best. Flip a switch on a brick tonight. Come out live in the night time. In a club sipping in the sea. I'm telling my dad if he calling me. Flip a switch on a brick tonight. A fairy sound bitch, see you cross that line. Black 
plan of attack Got bitches if they see in the street are getting slapped Don't threaten me or talk to me ever like that I got brothers in the ends that'll pull up right now You don't even wanna see the way I pull up right now With my little black dress and my neck bust down Now I tell him I'm dead if he calling me oh, Look, you off too swift Hit a ting, I used to link who always text back fast And I would tell you kiss my ass I know you wish that you could since the fuckery from my past, I tend to move on quick I tend to move on good They don't believe me, it's about to get freaky Only get to see me when you see me on my phone screen G, you no longer know me I no longer want you, you may never hold me Flip a switch on a brick and I Come alive in the night time And the club sipping in the seat I was in love, I was in love I was in love, I was in love Manifestation of past traumas. It's got that kind of Afrobeat style. Again, switching styles on almost every track, but everything still feels thematically consistent. It's quite special. I'm still kind of shook by the previous song, I can't lie. Yeah. Body dysmorphia, so I'm expecting another heavy track here. I let my fingers pinch my skin. I'm so hungry, I can't sleep. I know if I eat, then I'll be in the bottom of my knees. I hate the way my face is square. I hate my arms and XL t-shirts, baggy jeans So I don't have to stress about it Marijuana every day so I cannot obsess about it Turn on it, so I really like my body But no one is my only body I should probably call somebody I should really show you how I'm feeling inside I want to change lately I've been thinking about the ways to be your friends I wanna copy This is sadly dear, I wanna go pieces all How can I expect you to romance me, touch my body, baby? I don't want to hide it, nothing, hide it, I'm just sleeping on Another very heavy track. I think when I grow up, Something again, a lot of people and a lot of girls, women especially, will be able to relate to, unfortunately. Environmental anxiety. I mean, it doesn't sound like we're getting any lighter anytime soon. This is just, it's just <laughs> so on the anxious, this one. Please evacuate the country in an orderly fashion and leave behind any personal belongings. Yeah, maybe that last track was a bit on the nose for me. Yeah, yeah, what I say. I think you should take a break. Get on a plane. Call it the sweetest escape. I get a nuts. Maybe don't tell nobody. And I know I've been distant. I've been seeing other guys. You've been kissing other bitches. Mm -hmm. I think you should come and visit. I got tell him, Mauritius. I, 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 I think I know what you're missing. In the past, I have. Yeah, it's a good album track, this one. The standard was set so high early on on the album. And it's hard to follow that Ice Cream Man song, to be honest. I'm not too sure about the scratching on this track myself. It's almost a bit distracting. Also, it's reminding me of Limp Bizkit, which is both a good and a bad thing. So that run from Hard Out Here to Ice Cream Man was so good. I don't know if the second half of the album has quite lived up to that standard yet. 
Although obviously some very intense tracks, especially with body dysmorphia. I'm just trying to tell you how I feel. If my body was a boat, could you steer that sailor? I can feel like it's a 1960s Hollywood trailer. Nice vibe on this one. Smash my mouse back to It's a decent vibe again. An unusual moment of levity on the record, but it's a nice track. But again, like, if, we're, if we're comparing this one to uh, Escapism or Mary Jane, it's not on the same level. But still a very, very, very strong project with some incredible moments and a phenomenally talented artist in Ray. Okay. I caught a vibe to and a song to wine to. I'm gonna buzz it down. I'm gonna bust it. I'm gonna tick tock on it like a clock. I'm gonna touch it. Oh, I'm gonna bag it up and break it down. And he's gonna love it. Something I'll ride for. I'm gonna bust it down. I'm gonna bust it. I'm gonna tick tock on it like a clock. I'm gonna bust it down. She gonna bust it down. He gonna bust it down. Hmm. And then I'm gonna oh 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 on the oh. They gon' bust it down. I'm gon' bust it down. I'm gon' bust it down. Yeah, I can't be honest. The album kind of ended in a bit of a whimper for me. Shame, but like first half outstanding, and I don't want to underplay uh, some of the intensity. You made it this far. I, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you too. Forever. Yeah, shout out to you, Ray. Time. Some outrageously good tracks on that record on first listen. Second half, despite, like I said, some very intense moments, body dysmorphia. I don't want to like discount some of these tracks, but musically they they didn't really work for me in the same way. I wasn't a big fan of environmental anxiety, worth it, bust it down. But yeah, we're talking escapism, Mary Jane, Black Mascara, Thrill is Gone, and obviously the very, very, very heavy uh, Ice Cream Man. So that still leaves us with an excellent, excellent record and a uh, thrillingly exciting artist that we have over here. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you made it this far, thank you very much, like Ray says. And also, we'd love it if you subscribed. Catch you all in the next one, all right, please?